It's weird to have food that's like already chewed. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Oh my God, my hair is giving. I'm a little lad who loves fairies and cream, isn't it? Maybe if we tuck it, it'll look a little better. <laughs> um, I took a shower this morning. My hair is air drying, but hello. Happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to put up um, a video on Thanksgiving. So just in case, you know, you're not able to spend Thanksgiving with someone or I don't know, you just want to hang out, you can hang out with me. So I hope you guys are doing well and I am gonna open up a package and I thought I could do it with you guys. I bought some stuff during the Sephora sale. I believe I got a couple new things that I might even play with on camera. <laughs> okay, so I did grab a Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. These are so great for taking off your makeup. I either use this or the Elemis um, Cleansing Balm. And the Elemis one is more hydrating and like emollient. And this one is just a little more like almost waxy. Like the other one's goopy and this one's like waxy, but it takes everything off so well. I like them both. I kind of just rotate between the two, but it was like a great time to grab it because uh, I think I got everything 20% off with the VIB Rouge, but um, I always, gra always grab expensive products then because it's expensive, so. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff from Makeup by Mario. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna play with it today. You're coming home with me. Grabbed a couple different blushes, Creamy Peach and Desert Rose. Uh, and then I grabbed a bronzer and a highlighter because I've been hearing really good things about Makeup by Mario, right? Uh, makeup. So I'll take them out of the packaging and show you guys as I use them. And then I grabbed one size ultimate setting powder, the Patrick Star brand in translucent. I've heard this is a really good setting powder. I've heard like a lot of good things about the one size brand. So let me know if there's anything you would recommend from there. Um, and then I grabbed a nude lipstick from Dior, Forever Liquid, Forever Nude. Really pretty. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wear this today though, but like the perfect peachy nude or rosy nude because I'm really craving a holiday red lip today. I'm craving it. I haven't put makeup on in what feels like weeks. I think it's only been like less than two weeks, right? A week? I don't know. I haven't put makeup on in forever, forever. And it's gonna just, oh, feel so good to put my beauty blender on my skin. Um, so everyone raves about the Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury everyone. So the color looked like it's going to be really good. What I love about Sephora is um, they have like a shade finding system. So you can like plug in your perfect foundation shade from a different brand and it will match you to um, whatever foundation you're trying to buy. So like it's just so helpful. Like find your one perfect shade of foundation and then you can use that as a guide for all other foundations on Sephora. Um, I did also grab the Butter Silk Concealer from One Size, so we'll try that. Oh, I'm so excited to try this because you guys, remember when I bought this Milk Hydro Grip, look how much is left, like I've used so much, this Milk Hydro Grip um, setting spray and I thought it was the primer. This the key. This the key. I'm going to link everything below. You have to grab this. I, my makeup stays on so much longer so much longer um so i grabbed the hydro grip eye primer so you can use this on both your eyelids and your under eyes for your concealer a separate concealer primer i need this my under eyes crease oh look at this on blue jay oh my god that's like a be that's a beautiful bird um my under eyes always crease like always unless i like bake the heck out of it and like don't get hot all day and like i'm a big girl i'm always getting hot so um, very, very excited to try that. And then we have, and we have a palette. I haven't bought a new palette. Wait, I don't think I have. Um, in a hot minute. Oh, this 
ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 4. Oh my goodness. I am so freaking excited to play with. Okay, so it's just like it's just like a, an item. It's beefy. She's beefy. And it has a huge mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you kidding? Look at these colors. Oh. Oh my god. I like this. Mm. Did I just did I just cut my finger? I like this palette because there's enough nude option or I could travel with this. There's enough nude option for me to do a nude um, simple eye, a nude smoky eye, a nude matte or sparkle eye, and then there's some fun neon moments like this fun neon purple, neon greenish yellow, this bright hot pink. Like, oh, there's so much. Ooh. I I am craving a holiday lip, so I think. Oh, where should we go? Sparkly. Could do a nude sparkle with a nice red lip, like very holiday. We'll see, we'll feel the vibes. Um, I'm just so beyond excited. And then I ordered this attachment for my air wrap. I think I put on my stories. Um, I always share on stories, like when stuff's on sale, what I think is worth buying. Um, and this was another great item to buy during the Sephora sale. I brought an attachment for um, my Dyson air wrap. Uh, it's, perfect for getting some volume so it's a brush like this um and then you can get like a really nice bounce I think my hair will be need to be a little bit longer to really enjoy this unless hmm, sometimes when I like go straight it's nice to have that little curl under so maybe I'll do that or you can do some curls with this as well but I've been wanting this attachment for a long time it's like been sitting in my cart so it was the perfect time to grab it. It was the perfect time to grab the air wrap in general because like, I, I know, it's so dumb expensive, but you know, it's one of those things you buy it once, you use it like every time you do your hair and it's just so worth it in my opinion, but you know. Okay, so like, what do you say we do some makeup? I haven't done my makeup in so long. Look at my sad, hard, dry, crusty beauty blender. <laughs> Let me go wash this and clean it. And then we will do some makeup. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy to sit and do makeup with you guys. Okay, so I already went ahead and threw on a little Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Hydrating because my skin has been so dry. Like, thankfully I'm pretty clear right now, but it's been dry. Winter. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead first um, and just do this other primer as well. Kind of just do all my primers at once. So here's what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks like uh, just a little lip gloss. Oh, very lip glossy, okay. So I am gonna do a little bit under the eye. It says to do a thin layer and blend with fingertips. So I'm just gonna pat it. See that line under my eye? Oh, she's always creasing, always being rude. And then we're gonna do our lids as well it's very like thin formula i kind of expected it to be sticky but it's not all right i mean we'll see how it goes so let's go ahead and try this famous foundation i got the shade three which is fair and it looks like this it is a very beautiful i mean we'll see i, I did the color match so if it doesn't look right it's not on me it looks a little dark. You know, I have no self tan on, but I, I did it with my no self tan color. I mean, we might just have to blend it, but we'll see. Um, I'm always kind of like skeeved out by like the fact that I have to keep putting like, a dirty applicator in. I know my face is clean, but it just, I don't know, it feels kind of weird. I don't know how much to do. So like, I feel like I'm not putting that much on my skin, but I mean, let's see how it blends out. Um, I should have got a new beauty blender. This one's like crusty, busty, dusty, but you know what? She works. She's good. I don't even really know much about this foundation. <laughs> I just know that everyone raved about it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's read the claims. Uh, the future has arrived. Hollywood Flawless Filter is supposed to give you like flawless filtered skin. Um, it has skin enhancements, stuff in it. Soft Focus, Illuminate, Dewy, Flawless, Superstar, Youth, 
glow all over the face as a flawless filter on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. Interesting. Oh, so this is, this is not foundation for a superstar youth glow. Did I get the wrong product? Is this not a foundation? Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I don't think I bought the right thing. Great. Wait, no, I bought the right thing. Oh, this is good. This girl's oily and didn't make her oily. Cause like I'm dry, but oily. I wear it alone, melts into my skin flawlessly. Okay, no, I got the right thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I do think it's just going to be because I have like hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. And I, I do think I'm just going to have to kind of like do a few coats, get the coverage I need. But it, I mean, it looks really pretty so far. Like look at the glow. It's supposed to give you a glow from within, you know, that's like the most, <laughs> the most popular thing to say about foundation. It glow from within, within. I mean, yeah, it's really pretty. In the future, I'm gonna have to um, like do a layer on top of foundation to see how that looks. Cause that's kind of, that's kind of a great idea. Like if you want full, full coverage, which this is still like a really pretty kind of natural foundation. But if you want to do like a full coverage foundation and then throw this on top for a more natural look, yeah, that, that might be stunning. You know, I can still see some of my dark marks coming through. But overall, it's real. It's really beautiful, like very glowy. <laughs> I am gonna just put a little more. I just, I really don't like when my marks come through, like when I'm going full glam, you know. So I could have concealed them before, but I didn't really know. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into here. But I was reading the comments and like on Sephora's site, and most people are comfortable wearing it on its own. Yeah, very glowy. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna use the one size Turn Up the Base Butter Silk Concealer. And I got the shade Light 3. Packaging is so pretty. I've been just obsessed with red lately. I don't know, this holiday season, I'm just like a big red girl. Taylor Swift too. How great was the Taylor's version of red? Oh my God, who else just like sat in their bed sobbing? while they watched the short film. It was me, I did. <laughs> it's like, that's one of my favorite Taylor songs. It took me right back, right back <laughs> to that song at that time of my life. Ugh, it was great though, no regrets, definitely recommend. Oh, I love this packaging too, pretty. So this is the uh, translucent powder. And lately I have been enjoying letting, this looks a little dark. For me at the moment like it's more like a skin shade than a brightening shade but we'll see how it looks i have been enjoying letting my concealer sit before i blend it out and it does give me more coverage i'm just gonna take a little bit of this and set my forehead yeah this has a really nice glow even when i throw the translucent powder on top i feel like i still have a nice soft natural glow like it's very subtle. Okay, let's go ahead and blend this out. It's definitely not the right shade for what I was going for, but that's fine. It has very yellow undertone, this one. Oh, I feel like it's actually kind of brightening me up. What do you think? Bring it up into the inner corner. That always helps to brighten up as well. And then we got the little snatch, blend it up. Like just, okay. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and bake with the powder so hopefully you know between the hydro grip primer under my eyes and this powder and maybe the concealer is more crease proof we'll see we'll see how it all comes together i'm gonna throw a little translucent powder on the other parts of my face all right we need to bronze up our skin so let's go ahead and try out the makeup by mario bronzer and i grabbed the shade medium very minimal, sleek packaging. Here is the shade. Looks good, it has a little mirror. I've been brushing upward with the contour and I feel like it just looks better. I don't know, it might be in my head. Like I just feel like it snatches a little better, but I like the shade. It's the perfect neutral. It's not super warm, it's not super cool. It blends out well too, because we all know 
Alex has a heavy hand with bronzer. So yeah, it's pretty. Might even contour the nose a little with it. When you go full glam, you go full glam. Am I right? Yeah, right? Kind of subtle. I like it. And now we've got, we've got two blushes. So let's go ahead and take a ganda. So this one is called Creamy Peach. Oh, mm, I love that color. I love it. And then this one is called Desert Rose. Ooh, that's nice and nooch. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to go with Desert Rose, surprisingly. I think it's going to go better with the look I'm envisioning. So let's see how the blush looks. Oh, I do love blush. I'm such a blush girl. Like, ugh. This one has a lot more fallout. The bronzer has like no fallout and this one has a lot of fallout. So let's just, oh, she's pigmented. That is just a splotch of blush. Come on, it's okay. We can save it. <laughs> we can save it. We can save it. Okay, we, we were covered. That is so pretty. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna put more on the brush. Okay, this blush is such a pretty, like, oh my gosh, I love this color. Cute cute love it okay and we do have a highlighter as well and this one is in the shade pearl Ooh, that looks gorgeous oh. okay let's go ahead and try this out <gasps> Ooh. yeah that is beautiful it's like subtle but like sparkly subtle you know what I mean? Like, you can definitely see it. Sorry if you can hear you are. Ooh. Wow. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this highlighter. I don't know why it's just like doing something for me. And now the holy grail. Lock the skin in. I don't know what is in here, but it's very good. All right, a little Huda Beauty brow gel. I don't think I would buy this again. I feel like the brush is just like, it's like a little too flimsy. Like I don't feel like I have any control. I know it's meant for like that fluffy brow look, but I just, I feel like the product kind of gets everywhere, but I, I still want to, <laughs> still want to use up the product. It's not highlight pretty. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of subtle. Glow from within. So I just do brow gel first and then I take a pencil and just fill in the tail and the arch okay bear with me because I'm just gonna kind of play around with this I don't I don't know what I'm doing yet for the look I do want to take this a5 sparkly champagne -y color and just see oh, oh my god wow holiday that's holiday energy baby oh my god that is so beautiful I'm doing things just out of order. Um, they have a nice A4 um, taupey camely shade. This is where I would usually start, just throwing this in my crease and then going a little darker with B3. And then even darker with D5. These are all just like warm browns. I'm gonna do a little B4 as well on the lid. Mix that and A5, just like some shimmery beige champagne -y colors and i don't know why i just i feel like they always go on better when i use my finger i'm also going to take a little bit of this highlighter here and just highlight the brow bone and also i'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose like it just really brings the highlight together and we'll do the inner corners of course Worse. Okay, but I really like this palette. It is so pretty. I use a little B5. It's kind of a little darker, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna take that shade on my lower lash line as well, from like the middle out. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty chill. I don't know if I'm gonna do a liner yet. I might do a liner. But I have a lot of Lily lashes right now that I've been dying to use. So I'm gonna do this eye, throw on a lash, and come back. Okay, so I did a big wing, and then I'm wearing uh, Hollywood Lily lashes. So 
really big, really glam, feeling, feeling it, just feeling it. So we are gonna do a red lip. This is very holiday vibes, so maybe you can do it for the holidays. I'm doing for my lip liner, Bossy from ColourPop and the OG Ruby Woo from MAC. The prettiest blue-toned red. It will make your teeth look white. It's just gorgeous. Okay, I know it's kind of a lot, like this is pretty dramatic, but I'm into it. You know, not every day. I mean, if you wanted it to be every day, I co-sign it. <laughs> but I haven't done something like this in so long. Look how white it makes my teeth look. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, this is such pretty holiday glam. Like, just so beautiful. <sighs> These were some great products. Um, I'm like, <sighs> unsure about the foundation because I, I like it. But like, I feel like my marks are still coming through and that is just like my biggest thing. I guess I would try it again as a topper on like a more full coverage foundation. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I'll link all the makeup below. So I am going to go chill out a little bit because this actually made me kind of tired. Because <laughs> right now I just, I don't have a lot of energy to, like I'm not taking in a lot of stuff or nutrients. So like, I'm just kind of tired. Like if I do anything, I'm like tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have another protein shake and lay down. Yeah, I'm drained. <laughs> oh, also before I go, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, Miranda Fry is having their Black Friday sale now, like today, right now, through the weekend. And our discount codes are 20% now, which is the best. Like that's a great price. Like this A charm, my Irene chain from them, my collab, my Alexandra charm. Uh, you guys see me wear that all the time. Uh, my favorite fashion Jackson bracelet, which is fat wrist friendly. Like they just have so like their whole site and it's like 20% off is a great deal um, because like the quality is great. I wore it all summer in the pool. Like it's that kind of jewelry you can wear like all the time and that's just the best. <laughs> so um, if you also have sensitive skin like me, I have never had an issue. So, um, you know, it's not like crazy expensive, like buying gold jewelry, but it's gold filled. So you get that really amazing quality for a much better price. But um, if you want to get anything on their site for 20% off through the weekend, the code is fearless20. So go grab everything now, grab your holiday gifts, stock up because this only happens, I think once a year, like 20% is really, really good for, um, for Miranda Fry. So I'll link below all of my personal favorites if you want to grab them. But Happy shopping, just had to let you know. Okay, so I wanted to do a little update on how the foundation wore. Also, no under eye creases. So that under eye hydro grip primer, really good. I just had my soup, so <laughs> don't mind my lipstick. But the foundation wore really nicely. I'm definitely shiny because I am, I'm dry right now, but I'm also an oily person, but it wore really well. It didn't oxidize. It didn't like slip. Like I'm definitely very glowy and like kind of shiny, but there's no slipping. So overall, everything wore really nice and my eyeshadow didn't crease either with that primer. And I've been having some issues with slippage, but my foundation and my, all my makeup has been on for like nine hours. So I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> um, all right, cool. God bless Benadryl. It's the only thing getting me through this itch right now. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna take my Benadryl. I only do one throughout the day or I get a little too drowsy. Um, but take my Benadryl, we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're going to my grandma's house to put up their Christmas lights and um, decorate some Thanksgiving cookies and just hang out. We're not eating the cookies, <laughs> but we're decorating them. So I'll see y'all tomorrow at Mimi's house. Good morning. Guess what today is? <laughs> Your girl gets to eat her first pureed meal. We are officially done with liquids. Um, this is just my program. Um, it's a week of liquid. 
a week of puree and then two weeks of soft food. Um, I feel like a lot of other people are on liquid a little bit longer, but this is just my program. So I am making breakfast. Pretty excited. I'm gonna do some pureed oatmeal. Uh, I was gonna do pureed eggs, but I don't know, kinda, kinda wanna have some oatmeal. So I'm gonna puree up some oatmeal. Time to take all of our <laughs> fabulous morning pills. So take one allergy tablet because I am still itchy. The rashes are starting to heal though. I gotta take my Prozac. I switched from Zoloft to Prozac because full transparency. We take care of our mental health here. Take care of your mental health. Um, and I really like it. I was um, noticing that Zoloft made me have like a really hard core burst of sweat. And I kind of just felt like my anxiety could be better. Like I feel like it worked for me for a while. I don't know. And I believe Zoloft really <laughs> uh, contributed to my weight gain. Um, but I don't know. That aside, that's what my psychiatrist said. So anyway, um, and then I have to take this pill. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's to prevent gallstones to take it morning and night. And I'm not gonna make you guys stand here with me while I chew my terrible <laughs> multivitamin. Uh, but next week I can switch to like tablets instead I don't have to chew. So you better believe I'm switching. <laughs> Thankfully my mom got me a new food processor last year, I think for Christmas, my birthday or something, but I haven't even used it yet. So I'm gonna clean it and wash it and stuff, but thank God, cause for the next week, even a couple weeks perhaps, a uh, lot is gonna go in here. But I'm gonna show you guys a really good recipe too, something that looked amazing for lunch later that I'll bring to my grandma's house with me. Pretty excited. It's weird to have food that's like already chewed, <laughs> but it tastes great. All right, Yara and I are heading to my grandma's. I got my Starbucks Christmas cup with um, some Crystal Light and my Fabletics puffer coat, which I live in. Hey, my love. Can you show the audience your sweatshirt? Ho, 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 you're festive. Are you so festive? Come on, come on, let's go decorate some cookies. Hey, we got the accent challenge. Shout with me, dirty pump was ten. I ain't number one. We got Benny. Number two, we got he. Number three, we got he. Number four, we got B. We're gonna head out and put up the Christmas lights for all my grandparents. Are these the new ones over here, Meme? Okay. Can you help? Nah, it's a two man job, right? I mean, probably. Doing a good job, looking good. 